hello guys this is olushala david and welcome to my youtube channel now in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create your own personal stripe account then have the account activated if stripe is not supported in your country but before we can successfully do this there are a couple of things we need to do first we need to have our business registered in the us then request for our ein so to have your business registered in the us and get your ein i did a previous video on how to do that so i'm going to have the video link right here so just click on the link to watch the video and go through the the entire procedure or go to the description of the video then click the link there to get your business set up and also request for your e and so once you've done that you, we can now proceed to create our stripe account so what you want to do now is just go to stripe.com create an account with them confirm your email address then log into your stripe account so once you are inside your stripe account you should see something like this so you can either click on continue or click on activate your account to set up your account so from here you we can now proceed with our business details so what you want to enter here is your business name the name you registered in the us so after that you want to enter your ein right here so i'm going to copy my own ein then paste it here so if you don't have your own ein i'll suggest you click the link at the end of the video to get your business set up then request for your ein so here you want to enter your business address so once your business is registered in the us you should have an address for the business so i'm going to get i'm going to copy my own address here then paste it here all right so after entering your business address the next thing you want to do is just scroll down then select your business industry so for my own the reason i'm actually creating my strap account is to be able to receive payment on my dropshipping website so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click retail then scroll down then choose other merchandise okay so right here i want to enter my website my business website so i'm going to paste it here so here you want to enter the division of the Division of your business if you are into product sales, so you just want to specify the kind of product you are selling here. So I'm quickly going to copy my own, then paste it here. So after that, what you want to do, what you want to do is just click on this next button to proceed. Okay, so the next stage is about your personal details, which is the owner of the business. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to enter your first name then your last name so enter your email address as well then right here you want to enter your date of birth so i'm just going to go with anything random so after that i want to enter my home address if you don't have a us address i did a video on how to get your business address in the us so i'm also going to add the link to the video at the description of the video so you can watch the video and get your own us address or simply use Jupyter to create your own us address so i'm going to copy my us address all right so after pasting your home address here the next thing we want to do is to enter our phone number so also if you don't have a us phone number i'm going to add a link addition of the video to watch a video i did on how to set it up okay so for my own phone number i'm going to copy it copy then i'm going to change this to us okay now so for the social security number now what if you have your EIN already now your EIN is what you're going to be using here okay or you can or simply use your your country id card so if you want to use your country id card what you need to do is just scroll down here then choose your country abbreviation so once you choose your country abbreviation then enter your id id number here but in my own case i'm going to be using my EIN because i actually chatted with one of their representative and the guy told me that i can use my ein as the social security number and just to be sure now this is the chat so it is it, it said if you do not have the national nationality field available on the dashboard if you don't hold an ssn or itn please enter your ein in the ssn slash itn field 
so it means if i don't have the nationality field now this is what they are talking about but i have it here but i'm actually going to go ahead with the ear hand but if it did not work that means i'm going to enter my my country id number so as you can see it works so what i'm simply going to do is to click the next button all right so the this stage is actually about your fulfillment details how you how are you going to fulfill the product do you chip the product yourself if you chip the product yourself you're going to choose yes but if you use if you use third party to chip the product you're going to click no so i use third party to choose and to chip my product so right here you're going to choose how long it takes to have your product delivered so i'm just going to go with two weeks so after that what you're going to do is to click the next button so you can actually enter your business name here touch ent then your phone number so i'm going to enter my us phone number here so for the support address i'm also going to put my business I'm, I'm also going to use my business address as the support address so the next thing i have to do now is to click on next so after that what you want to do now is to enter your us account information your us bank account information so if you don't have a us account number what i'm going to suggest is you go to peonia to create an account yourself so I'm so I'm going to add a link at the end of the video to create a free Peonia account. So once you create your account, you should be given your own personal US account number. So what you want to do is copy the account number, then paste it in your Stripe account. So what you want to do now is you want to scroll down, then click on enter bank, enter bank details manually. Okay, so here you're going to paste your routing number. Then here you're going to paste your account number then we enter the account number here to confirm the account number so i'm going to go back to my peonia account then copy the routing number come here paste it here then copy the actual account number paste it here then paste it here again to confirm it so after that i'm going to click on save all right so the next thing you want to do is click the next button to proceed forward so this is actually optional if you want to do this you can just do this but i'm going to click on contribute okay not right now to proceed to the next so this is the final stage so this is just a review on everything we've done so actually i have my i have my own working stripe account this is just to walk you through how you can set up your own personal account so once you've done everything we've talked about previously so the next thing you need to do is just click on submit and you are going to review and activate your account now this work this is what i use for my own account and it's still working okay so just make sure you go through this video and follow the entire details to set up your account so once you've done that you can now click this submit button to submit your account information then have the account set up so guys so this is basically how you can create your own stripe account then have the account activated so if you are yet to register your business in the us if you don't have your ean already i'm going to suggest you go to the edition of the video click the link below then have your business set up then get your ean then use those details to create your stripe account all right so thank you for watching i will see you in the next one